everyone, Jerry Monza, Johnston, a prominent figure in Street Outlaws TV series, has been associated with its iconic 1972 split bumper, Camaro, which he meticulously transformed into high-performance racing machine over the past decade. However, recognizing the need for the purpose-built vehicle, Johnston approached CZ race cars in Lakeland, Florida last year to create a new car specifically for the Street Outlaws No Prep King series. The result is impressive, bad attitude, which was unveiled to the public this weekend, surpassing the visual appeal for his renowned black Camaro. Johnston's new racing car 1970s Chevelle boasts top-notch fabrication and components. The heart of vehicle is a Pro-Line Racing M at 7 bullet Hemi engine featuring cutting-edge enhancement such as redesigned pot design on the cylinder heights, larger lifters and a modified cam profile compared to the MH6 design. These modifications are estimated to provide an additional 150 to 200 horsepower in the outflow configuration with the MH7 engine generating around 3400 to 3500 horsepower fueled by methanol. To further argument, the Hemi engine's power, a Procharger F4141 supercharger is integrated and m, &M transmission, turbo 400 transmission and Third converter efficiently deliver the power to the track. The Chevel also incorporates carbon fill doors and front end from plastic, while safety equipment is sourced from white safety equipment. The reliable fuel flow is maintained by Aeromotive and Racestar wheels to ensure a smooth roll on the race course. However, just days before the Chevel's anticipated debut, Johnston, one of the show's prominent stars, shared disheartening news with his fans on social media. Due to unforeseen financial limitations, Team Monza will not be able to participate in the No Prep King series in 2023. Johnson expressed his disappointment, acknowledging that the team had finally acquired a competitive car but unfortunately could not afford to compete this year. The budget shortfall, amounting to roughly two thirds of the funding, was a major setback for them. Nevertheless, he assured his fans that they would regroup and explore alternative options for the future. He expressed gratitude to the loyal supporters for always standing by their side. The fate of Chevelle's racing career remains uncertain following Johnston's this season. Given the demanding schedule and the substantial cost associated with maintaining a high-performance vehicle like this, numerous potential sponsors should consider partnering with the intriguing racers, including Johnston himself. Over five seasons of No Prep Kings, Jerry and his son Brandon have valiantly fought with a car that lagged behind in terms of technology. It's undeniably disheartening to witness their progress come to a halt just as they were on the cusp of newfound competitiveness with their new car. We eagerly anticipate witnessing the Chevelle's prowess on the track and hope to see more of it and the Johnson family in the action of this season. That's it for today's video and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon in the next one.